For example, the Crossfire Hurricane team obtained information from Steele's primary subsource in January 2017 that raised significant questions about the reliability of the Steele reporting. This was particularly noteworthy because the FISA applications relied entirely on information from the from the steel, I'm sorry, from the primary subsources reporting to support the allegation that Page was coordinating with the Russian government on 2016 U.S. presidential election activities. However, the FBI did not share this information with department lawyers, and it was therefore omitted from the last two renewal applications. Can you say it wasn't because of political bias? On, on decisions regarding those FISA matters, I do not know okay. their state of mind Fair at enough. this point. So we're talking. So they open up a counterintelligence investigation. Let's assume for a moment that the small predicate you need has been met. What the hell happened after they opened it up? What did they find? Were their suspicions validated? Or did they find at every turn it's really not true and they ignored it? So, one of the first things they tried to do was to get a warrant under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act to follow Carter Page, a volunteer for the campaign and American citizen. They applied for the warrant internally in August of 2016, and the lawyers say, you don't have enough. Why? Because they had nothing. Maybe this reasonable articulation is this small, but to get a warrant from a court, you've got to have probable cause. So the lawyer's saying you don't have it. So, Mr. Horowitz, the 17 irregularities that you found, some of them are earth-shattering. Some of them should scare the hell, out, hell of, out, the hell out of all of us. I just want to end sort of where I began. This is not normal. Don't judge the FBI and the Department of Justice by these characters. We're better than this. Like many of you, I've worked with the FBI a lot of my time in government. I have a great respect for it. Director Ray, you got a problem. And for this hearing to mean anything, we got to fix it. And the way we fix it is listen to Mr. Horowitz and get the director of the FBI in here to try to find out a way to make sure this never happens again to any politician in this country. It's Trump today. It could be you or me tomorrow. And imagine, ladies and gentlemen, if they can do this to the candidate for the president of the United States, what could they do to you?